So, we are almost at the end of this uh, course, it is a uh, course of 60 lectures. So, in last two lectures, I will discuss uh, some general devices, instruments, tools around us to test knowledge whether uh, whatever we have learned in this course, uh, whether it is useful to understand the surrounding of us. So, this is the 59th lecture. So, these devices around us. So, in this lecture, I will discuss about the principle of electric fan, grinder and drilling machine. So, these are the instruments uh, every, every house have. So, we use electric fan in every house, we also use grinder is called is basically mixture. Uh, so, that uh, equipment also use and drilling machine you know this uh, to hold wood or this uh, wall etcetera. So, we use drilling machine. So, what is the working principle of this instrument that I want to discuss mainly to test whether we can understand the principle of this instrument uh, with our knowledge gathered in this from this uh, uh, subject. So, so, yes, so these are very common instruments or devices in our house, fan, grinder and drilling machine. So, these machines are basically here this elect electrical energy is converted into mechanical energy. Basically, we use current and then we get the mechanical work for these three cases. There are many other examples, so just I have uh, picked up three. Uh, so, uh, similar instruments are, are uh, used in, in uh, many other cases. So, here for these three instruments, so this common this electric motor is the main part for rotating blade, blade of this basically fan, blade of the blade of the grinder and drill for rotating drill of this drilling machine. Okay. So, uh, in all three cases you see this rotation of, 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 of uh, blades and drill. So, that we use for our purpose for getting uh, air cool air in our uh, room to, to mix the different kind of uh, uh, say uh, vegetables or, or fruits or, or uh, some other uh, uh, grains, food grains to, to mix it, we use this, uh, this grinder and they are also this basically rotating the blades and to drill hole or, or yes, mainly in this case we use to make hole in for different purposes. So, so this the uh, here this rotation. So, uh, main things is uh, something is there in all three cases which rotate these blades and drill. So, what is that? So, that is basically electric motor. Okay. So, so this working principle of all these three is uh, basically uh, how this electric motor works. So, if we understand that one, so then uh, basically we, we will be able to understand the function of these uh, devices. So, how electric motors works. Okay. So, let us see th as I told this working principle of electric motor and we want to test uh, how our knowledge of this course is helpful to understand. 
So, I have shown this one in this course. So, galvanometer and I opened it and we have seen that there is a permanent magnet, it has uh, it is a it has permanent magnet and a rectangular coil and a rectangular coil in the uh, permanent magnet. So, basically an rectangular coil a current carrying rectangular coil in a permanent magnetic field and we have seen this then this coils rectangular coils it rotates and it rotates due to torque and we have learned also the origin of this torque right. So, uh, you remember that I have discussed this this experiment we have we have demonstrated we have demonstrated this current sensitivity, uh, current sensitivity and charge sensitivity of a ballistic galvanometer. And there uh, I have discussed, so here just I want to remind you that uh, what we have learned uh, uh, from our experiment and that I have discussed the theory part of this experiment that basically this you have a uh, magnet permanent magnet it gives magnetic field and your rectangular coil is in a uh, in this uniform magnetic field. And this coil if current passes through this coil then this coil rotates and to restore this re restore this rotation. So, we have used this basically either this torsion or the or the or the this uh, some cases we use spring uh, or some cases we use this phosphor uh, or fiber rope ok. So, this for this basically for uh, uh, restoring torque and because of this restoring stock it basically oscillate ok or it it uh, it just uh, deflect and uh, uh, deflect or rotate and stay at a equilibrium position so there is a rotation if this this uh, restoring part is not there then it could rotate it could rotate all the time it could rotate inside this permanent magnet ok so here we have learned that when current flows through this rectangular coil. So, these two arm in one arm current is say up and then another arm current is down ok. So, this current carrying conductor in a magnetic field it will feel the force that force is F is equal to I L cross B and then corresponding torque depending this difference between these two. So, uh, B cross F right. So, these all things we have discussed and we have learned ok. So, in this situation torque works on this coil and torque direction it will depend on the direction of the of the current and direction of the magnetic field ok. Direction of the current and direction of the magnetic field that is very important ok. So, so, this that is what we have learned from from the experiment uh, demonstrated in this in this course. Now, this knowledge basically this knowledge is useful to understand understand the uh, the working principle of the working principle of the uh, uh, of the of the fans uh, grinder as well as this uh, drill ok. So, so with this knowledge let me let me try to explain uh, this principle of this uh, electric motor it is also called electromagnetic motor ok. So, this this the schematic diagram of this uh, electric motor. So, in electric motor there is a uh, permanent magnet. So, these two pole this north pole and south pole. So, magnetic field will be 
between these two gap okay between this gap so magnetic field is nothing but the lines of force right per unit area so so this magnetic field say in this direction north to south so now here there is a coil there is a coil now in this coil if current flows if current flows this way depending on the direction of current so this torque direction so force direction in this direction on this arm and uh, current in opposite direction here so force direction will be in uh, just opposite direction okay so then between this distance so the distance of this force into this distance cross this uh, this distance is basically torque it will act so along this axis so this force direction this torque direction will be this this axis that means this uh, this uh, coil will rotate it will rotate because there is no because there is no uh, restoring force on it we have not used the spring or the uh, fiber uh, uh, fiber uh, rope as we used in case of galvanometer so that their purpose was different so here uh, if such restoring force is not there so then it will rotate now problem is uh, you see when it will just rotate by 180 degree so this arm will come here and this arm will go there now uh, but current direction will remain same right so when this arm is coming here so current direction will be downward and uh, for for this arm when this arm will come here so current direction will be upward okay so then this torque direction will be just opposite okay so then it will start to rotate in opposite direction but in case of fan or this drill we have seen this it rotates in the same direction so to get the rotation in same direction so there is a arrangement here it's called basically here you see this this uh, commutator you know commutator commutator is used to change the direction right and uh, so here so this, this this is the shape of this commutator you know this uh, this wire is connected with this part this half and this wire is connected with the this end of the other uh, other end of the wire is connected to the uh, this half okay so now uh, actually this is rotating this is rotating so when it will rotate so this work will come here and this electrical connection is is taken from this is a pad kind of thing that is called brushes so uh, this is the uh, is basically from source this connection is given to the uh, to the uh, to the circuit so that is called this arrangement is called uh, uh, brushes okay so when it will rotate so this this will be connected with this one means positive one and this will be connected to the other one means negative one so as if the polarity will change so that means direction of the current also will change so direction of the current will change means when it is coming here so instead of downward current will flow upward so that means i will get the same similar condition as same condition as now okay so so now uh, if i get the same condition so this torque direction uh, will be same remain same because uh, uh, because this uh, this arm is coming here and current direction is just uh, changing so this downward will be upward so we are getting this this condition and the rotation will continue in same direction okay so here what we are seeing this the same rotating principle as we have seen in case of galvanometer okay so in motor electric motor actually this the 
principle of the electric motor is same as the principle of the uh, uh, not same I will tell the similar same knowledge is used here and we will get continuous rotation. Uh, so, there are basically this is the main main I think easy way to understand. So, there are DC motor and AC motor. So, in case of DC motor actually whatever I explained there. So, this you have permanent magnet and this field direction is all the time in, in this direction, field direction is all the time in this direction okay. and, uh, and this polarity is changing using the commutator re reversing the current polarity is changing. So, we will get the rotation of this coil in same direction. So, now your in case of fan or in case of this uh, motor uh, this uh, what it is called this drill or, or grinder. So, whatever blades that blades with axle with axle these blades are connected are, are fixed with this coil basically. So, coil is rotating means that axle is rotating means these blades are rotating whatever uh, we see in case of fan. So, that is basically this rotation of the blades is basically this rotation of the axial rotation of the axial or rotation of the uh, of the of this coil because they are attached with this coil ok. Now, this is the DC motor ok. Now, uh, but in our house you know this our electricity is basically AC. So, it is uh, so use AC current. So, in case of AC uh, so there instead of permanent magnet we use electromagnet ok. Electromagnet you know this uh, from uh, coil if you pass current through the coil. So, you will get the it will act as a uh, magnet and you will get uh, electromagnet. So, two coil if you use so they will be south and north pole. Now, the south and north pole of these two coil these two coils have two faces. So, one face will be south pole another face will be north pole. So, uh, so here two coils. So, here we are showing the south pole uh, and north pole in other side, okay, but not this north pole of the same coil. So, here this north pole uh, or south pole of one face and this other face will be north pole or south pole. Okay. So, here we use this electromagnet and AC current is given to this electromagnet that means AC current you know this uh, is first half is positive and second half is the negative. So, uh, so for a complete cycle uh, basically half will be the direction of the current uh, whatever. So, for other half it will be just in opposite direction. So, that is why this periodically half period in half period uh, this pole of this uh, of this electromagnet will change. Okay. So, so, here basically we are changing the direction of the field. Okay. So, now, uh, now here instead of so, what will happen? So, say current is flowing current is flowing through this through this uh, wire and this is also AC current this is also AC current. So, what will happen? So, uh, for a particular position you see this is north and this is south and in, in that time uh, current is flowing this up and this is down. Okay. So, whatever the torque direction you will get. Now, for second half this is south. So, field direction it changes and also current direction it changes you know. So, whatever upward wa, upward was there. So, now it is downward. So, field and current so, force you have seen this I L cross B. So, if current direction changes and field direction also changes. So, minus minus into minus. So, it will be plus. So, effectively the direction of the of the torque will remain unchanged. So, it will rotate in the same direction. Okay. So, this is the AC motor okay. and this is the real picture. So, here here you see this uh, I, I showed you this commutator uh, in here this commutator this uh, uh, 
split ring commutator. Okay. So, it is two. So, here basically uh, uh, I think let me go to the next one. So, here uh, here there is a problem. So, there will be jump basically here changing will be jumping from one state to another state. Okay. So, because here this current is changing is not uh, is amount of the current is varying. Okay. It is positive current direction of the current will be in one direction, but it is magnitude changing. Okay. So, this motion of this one will be affected it will be it will also vary like following this current variation. So, to so these things will not be smooth. So, rotation will not be smooth. So, to make this rotation smooth instead of these two coils in reality it is there are many coils are used. Okay. And depending on the number of coils, so here this uh, this uh, uh, this brushes and this uh, I think brush will be two, and this uh, let me go to the here yeah. So this commutator here, so this this splitted that part, this one complete ring will be splitted with many uh, many division. Okay. So, each one will be connected with the with the each set of each set of uh, each set of uh, this uh, uh, electromagnet. Okay. So, this electromagnet nothing but the coil. Okay. So, I think I if I show the but it is not there I had another picture anyway, but it seems yes so it is not there. So, here I think is uh, divided into four. It is uh, for four coil. Here for two coils, these two. Okay. So if we have four coil, so there will be four. But in reality, this number of coils here use uh, many number of coils are used. So this will be this commutator. This half, uh, its uh, its number of divisions will be more. Whatever. So this uh, this arrangement is nothing but the uh, to make the rotation smooth, okay. but principle is same. So, um, how smooth you want, so depending on that how many uh, how many coils you will distribute it over the over the region. So, here this axle is will rotate, so this axle is rotate is attached with the uh, with the with the this kind of uh, uh, rectangular coils and these rectangular coils in a uh, that is that is called rotator uh, in a in a in a magnetic field. So, in case of AC there is the electromagnetic field and that is that is fixed either permanent magnet or the or the coil. So, they are uh, they are permanent they are they are static. So, they these are called uh, stator coil and these are called uh, motor coil inside uh, of this one and which is attached with this axle. Okay. So, basically this coil will rotate, rotor coil will rotate, motor coil rotor will rotate. So, that means this axle will rotate. So, on this axle these blades are blades or, or the deals are, are fixed connected. So, this uh, whatever we are seeing this fan is working, uh, deal is uh, working is basically that is a rotating that is because of this electric motor and principle is similar of the galvanometer whatever we have seen and uh, that experiment we have done. Okay. So, I think this uh, just application of our knowledge from this uh, course whether we can understand we can uh, we can uh, understand the principle of the of the devices devices around us. So, in next class I will discuss another example high end instrument which is used in research. So, I will discuss in next class. Thank you for your attention.